G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video and thanks for joining us. Well, here we have it, the 24 hour fishing mission. So I wanna get straight into the action for you guys, but I'll just give you a quick rundown of what the plan was. So pretty much we wanted to go chase some whiting and snapper in the same weekend. So we chased some whiting at night, slept on the boat, then woke up the next morning to chase some snapper out on the reef. I'll be popping up just like this a few times throughout the video just to explain what's going on, but we'll get straight into the action and I'll show you some of the uh, better whiting that we got and then we'll get straight into the reef action after that. Good evening guys, we're out chasing some whiting in this session. We were just saying this is about the time when we should start to get a few bites and no joke, two seconds later dad's rod started bouncing. So we're about to get settled in for the night, we're going to sleep in the boat overnight and uh, hopefully catch some good whiting. Well, Dad didn't get that one, but hopefully that's a good sign. We are so keen to be out here fishing again. We have hardly been fishing this year. Fingers crossed there are some good whiting around for us. It's not summer yet, but uh, you know, through spring you can still get really good whiting. That's when they start to bite. So we're gonna have a real crack tonight. If you do enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment about uh, what you liked in the video, any questions. Uh, share the video with your mates and uh, like the video as well. All right, we're going to keep getting set up and get into this session. Hopefully we'll see you soon with a big whiting flopping around on the deck. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's a lot darker than when I first talked to you. We've been doing it tough. We've hardly even had a bite for hours. It's just, well, a couple of hours we've been here and it's just been dead. And Dad's finally got a bite. Doesn't look like it's going to take it. <laughs> Hang on. Not real big at the moment. Yeah. That's just going to start to do something. <laughs> it's a white, eh? Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, that's the first whiting of the night. A couple hours in without a bite, pretty much, and then. Yeah, that's a nice size one at least. Hopefully it picks up from here, but far out. Haven't had much to show you, that's for sure. Righto, we'll deal with this one because they're about to come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yep. Got you? Well done. Another oh. big one. Looks like it might be a good one too. Yeah, it's going. It's going to be a wide end. Mm, staying down like one. Yeah. It's going to be a good one too, yeah. I think. He's going a lot better than the one I caught. Oh, well guys, we weren't joking, it was another long wait. But that's number two. Fun fight in the current there. As you can see by the way he's flicking around, no wonder they're so fun to catch. They are full of muscle and fight like crazy they're super fun i'll give you a better look at him so there you go guys not a bad one definitely happy with that long time between bites we're really hoping it picks up so anyway we're going to treat this one right we're going to bleed it and everything like that and get it on ice um, even these whiting bleeding them makes such a difference you've probably heard me say it before um, but the fillets are just so clean and makes a big difference to the eating quality. So we're gonna do that now and get it on ice. Oh. Tell me you got him. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> Not real big. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> That's legal. Yeah. For where we're fishing, we're really targeting the, you know, the better size ones, but you never really have to measure them. Yeah, that one, 25 centimeters. So the legal size is 23. Anyway, a whiting's a whiting and they're all tasty. So we'll bleed this one. He's invited to dinner as well. So just as I was getting this one off, dad got a bite as well. So hopefully you can land it. They've been um, biting a little bit funny. They're not really committing. Got him? Yeah. 
a bit better. Just another one, been a bit slow tonight, but that's two and two cars for us, so getting a couple. Just wait for another one. Oh, that did nothing. It is so weird tonight, guys. Like, the fish we've been getting, the last two that I've got, I started to wind in and realize they were there. And Dad just got that one, didn't even know he had it hooked, and then it just started to fight and, and went hard, and it's a really decent fish. So, beautiful, nice, clean ones. Look at that in the light. Nice and silver, sandy colored. We're gonna get him off and get straight back out there because, uh, yeah, that's only a few minutes after that last fish we showed you. Now, the whiting really were not playing the game, and we decided just to call it quits. We crawled up in the cabin of the boat and went to sleep, and got up early the next morning to have a real crack at the snapper offshore. So we rocked up at our first spot in close, and uh, there was nothing on the sounder, and we didn't even get a bite. So we decided to head just a little bit wider into about 40 meters of water. Uh, we found some good bait and fish on the sounder, and after a couple of drifts, this happened. Unless this is them coming right now. There's something. Something. Yeah, it might be them coming back there now. Oh, on plastic, plastic. Yep. 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 Grab that. Nice. Yep. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let me get you in the bottom. Yeah. Trying. Yeah, good fish. Yeah. Get the one in here. Where's it going here? This one. It's over the top, I think. Yeah. Bring that one in. Yeah. Yeah, that side now. Yeah, good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, we're good now. I'll bring it in anyway. Oh, you don't get that bite. Yep, that's a bit better. Man, this one took a couple of runs. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. I'm trying to just get this line out of the way. Yeah. I'll get that one. That's a good fish. Oh. Yeah. Still having a few runs. I had a hit on mine there before. Yeah, this is a good fish. Yeah. Bad time. Yeah. But it is a good one, I think. At least he's... Hopefully it's a snapper. He's going off one. Yeah. Some weight there. Yeah. There he is. What you? Yeah, nice snap. fish. Not a giant, but a good one. Yeah, he's locked. Not bad. Yep. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Oh, the monkey off the back, eh? Yeah. Whew. That's well, a nice fish. Well, well. It took us a little while to get started this morning in terms of uh, putting a fish in the boat, but that's a nice way to kick it off. He absolutely smashed that plastic. Had a few good runs there. I thought he was going to be bigger than that, to be honest. But we are only using 12 pound braid and 14 pound leader. So I'll give you a look at this fish. So that right there, guys, is uh, our first snapper of the year, believe it or not. So you guys would have noticed if you follow the videos that we have not been able to get out much recently. But uh, yeah, that's a nice fish. And as you can see, that little uh, three inch plastic, the pink Z-Man, he absolutely smashed that. And that's on a half ounce jig head. So just slowly floating it down. We finally found a bait school. We've struggled this morning so far. The sun's already up. We like to fish at first light, but the first little spot we tried, Nothing on the sounder, no bites. Um, so we've come out just a little bit wider. We're in 40 meters of water now um, to a spot. We haven't really fished too much before or recently anyway. Um, yeah, we found one. So hopefully there's a few more and uh, yeah, it's not a bad snapper. So we get straight back into it and we'll keep talking you through what we're doing. And uh, what I'll do is I'll show you our technique with the plastic and uh, how we got this one. 
But anyway, we'll keep going. All right, so we've just come up for another drift. We've put the plastic out. Uh, Dad's getting the baits down. Um, now I've got to deal with this fish. And what we do is when we're keeping a fish, we respect it. Uh, you know, we do everything we can to make it the best eating quality possible. So uh, we're going to brain spike it and bleed it straight away and then get it straight on ice. But I just want to talk about this little tool I've got. Um, I got sent this by a guy called Matt, the Icky Pick. So uh, I'll show you how it works, but this really improves the eating quality of the fish. They die straight away um, and there's less stress and it makes that fish really tender and really tasty. So we're going to do that. I'll show you how to use it and uh, then bleed them. But I just want to say a big thanks to Icky Pick for sending this out to me. It's a really cool tool. It's got a bottle opener, nice hard handle, sharp spike, and it's even got a bit of a cover for safety. But anyway, we're going to do with this snapper and uh, get it in the esky. Well, first of all, I should say, if you're squeamish or if you don't want to see this, maybe skip forward 20 seconds or so. But I'm going to insert it straight in the back of the head here between the eyes where the brain is and it will die instantly. You might see a bit of a flick. Get it in there. That's got him. Alright, now we bleed him quickly and get him in the esky. So after that fish, we went straight back up for another drift. Snapper can have really strict and quick bite time. So when you get one, it's important to get straight back up there and make the most of it. And uh, pretty much straight away, the plastic got hit again. I don't know. It's not erratic. It might be just a, a snap, but it's... Yeah, it might just be a bit of a little snapper. This is another one on the plastic guys in the rod holder. I'm not sure what it is. Dad just got a bonito there. So hopefully it's not one of those. Hopefully it's a snapper. It's got a bit of weight to it, but it's not doing a lot of uh, running or head shaking. It's doing a little bit, but we'll find out soon. Oh, that's a snap. Just a real small one. It'll be legal, I think. Yeah. He's, he's not hooked well. Oh, yeah. oh he's hooked well enough, though, no. in, in the gill. He'll be legal. There's another one, guys. Just a little one on the plastic. So anyway, he'll be just legal. Plastic, 2-0. All right, so as you can see here, guys, our little plastic that we're using for some reason snapper love pink plastics no idea why but they absolutely smash them so there's a little tip for you anyway today we're using a half ounce jig head we're fishing in about 40 meters of water and the only reason we're getting away with it is because there's light winds so if the wind was up you might have to use a bit heavier jig head and maybe a bigger plastic but anyway you can see the breeze is coming from this way here and we're drifting up sort of south so what we're going to do is cast the plastic up the way we're going and on a bit of an angle and just put it in the rod holder so as I said we'll drift up towards that that'll be sinking down and by the time it's down in the zone it'll be at the back of the boat and we'll be able to click that bail arm over and if it hasn't already been hit it'll just waft around and uh, hopefully get absolutely smashed like the last couple of times but anyway I'll get a bait down stay tuned you're doing real well on the Benito aren't you yeah. Bait collector, professional bait collector. Oh, I got a little snap just then. Nothing massive, but um, as I said, we haven't been fishing all year pretty much, so haven't had any fish in the freezer lately, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be tasty. All right guys, so just a quick tip now for when you're bleeding your fish. You wanna get in behind the gill there and cut all the way around. You can see blood come out. You want to do that on both sides. Hopefully you can see that. A lot of people just break the neck or cut the throat. But yeah, that gets it a lot better. As you can see the blood coming out there on both sides. Just put it in there. Put the 
nice in the side, maybe. All right, guys, so it's slowed down a bit in here compared to those couple of drifts when we got those uh, fish and had a few bites and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out a little bit wider now that the sun's coming up and hope they're biting out there still. I'm just gonna put the mark in now and uh, we'll get out there and try and get some. As I've said in my previous videos, sometimes uh, later in the morning they'll still be biting in deeper water. So it's not too late yet. So anyway, we'll get out there and hopefully float some baits down and, and lures down on their heads. Hey, you hit it? Yeah, yeah. On the drop. Do that. Come on. Come on. Had to dig early that one. Yeah. He's alright. Yeah. One more. Uh oh. Got him. Decent. A little bit better. Yeah. So the other technique we're using, we've got the plastic in the rod holder still. Now that we're out deeper, I'll put a bit heavier jig head and a bit bigger plastic on. But the other technique we're using is uh, float lining, or they call it float lining, but dropping down pilchards and uh, strips of bonito that dad caught. You can use squid, um, any other flesh baits, and just slowly sinking them down. I'll just hit the bottom there, but usually you just want to uh, get absolutely smashed on the drop so you want to float it down nice and slowly and uh, as you can see we've got a parachute out here or a sea anchor to slow our drift down so that means we can slip you know drop it down nice and slow and our line's not going to end up 100 kilometers out the back of the boat so um, that's how I got that one just before hopefully soon you see a snapper pick it up and absolutely scream off we were just winding up to go for another drift and the plastic was snagged on the reef. So Dad's just giving it a flick off and then before he's wound it in, all the other rods are in. He's just giving it a few jigs and, you know, slowly jigging it up and something's hit it pretty hard, but it's not real big, but um, we'll see what it is. Alrighty, there we go, guys. Dad is struggling to catch a snapper today. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> he's getting everything else, Benito and now this gold spot pigfish on a plastic, jigging it as well. So how funny is that? But anyway, it's legal and uh, yeah, nice looking fish. Well done, Dad, on the plastic. All good. Get back down. All right, so the session is pretty much finished here, guys. We uh, started to wind all the lines in and once again, Dad picked up the plastic rod to wind it in and there was just a fish sitting on it. So. I've got no idea what was going on here, but check it out. That's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. What the heck? How long was that sitting there for? Yeah. Small? Yeah. Scorpion cod? No, I'll leave it What the hell? That was literally sitting in the rod holder with that on and not even bent over. No. What the heck, man? Oh, God. Okay, so that really does bring us to the end of the session. We headed in after that and headed home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you took at least a few tips away from it to help you get onto some fish next time you head out there. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, um, and stay tuned because I do have some really, really, really good videos on the way that I've filmed in the past couple of weeks. They have, they're gonna be unreal. We're just so happy to be finally getting out on the water again, and we got a nice little feed between those whiting and the snapper in 24 hours, so happy days. Until next time, guys, tight lines and happy fishing. See you out there.